happy new year i hope you all had a lovely christmas and a brilliant start to 2023 and welcome to my channel and the first video of 2023 i do apologize this video hasn't come um towards the end of 2022 but i don't know if you can still hear i was struck down by whatever the illness was that was going around christmas and new year's so i haven't actually got around to filming my what i got for christmas video until now so i hope it's not too late for everyone to be watching there's some really nice pieces that i got this year and if you're new around here hello i'm april i make weekly videos i upload every sunday at 6 p.m expect loads of disney content coming your way because me and my boyfriend andy are going back to disney world in april and may and i can't wait and i'm going to have loads of videos on the lead up to that and i also make daily vlogs of like my daily life i do some fashion content and everything so i'd love to have you around but if you're not new around here thank you for coming back and let's get into the video of my what i got for christmas 2022 and if you're not subscribed already please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and the thumbs up just so i know that you're enjoying the video and you're going to stick around but yeah let's get into the video so there's going to be no rhyme or reason to what i will show you it's literally just going to be what i pick up first and the first thing that's kind of like glaring at me is my amazing present that i got from andy my boyfriend and it is of course a lounge fly bag that is going to be perfect for when we go to Walt disney world this year and it's going to be perfect for may the 4th because we're going to be there again this year for star wars day and this is the i keep getting the name wrong of it i am a star wars fan so don't come for me if i say the wrong thing but it's the rebel pilot kind of cosplay um lounge flight backpack so it's got the kind of uniform of the pilot of a rebel um pilot i think that's what it's called i always get confused with the rebel and the resistance and andy always says that it's like a, before a certain time and stuff but this has been on my list of lounge flies for so long and i just absolutely love it it has actually been um quite hard to get but i found it on a website that i've used before called geek Core. i think this is where andy got it from i will link it in the description below if you're in the market for an amazing bag like this but i am so chuffed with it i can't wait to take it along on holiday with us i am coming to the conundrum of is that the sound sorry of how many lounge flies I can actually take on holiday with me because I've currently got six and as much as I want to take all six there's not going to be space in my suitcase because I am actually wanting to buy another one on holiday so I'm going to be doing a pack with me and kind of like figure out all the outfits I'm going to take so you'll be able to come on that journey of me trying to figure out how many I can actually realistically fit in my suitcase and how many I can convince Andy to put in his suitcase as well so yeah but I am absolutely chuffed with this it was something one of the only things I actually really asked for for Christmas so I'm really glad it's in my collection now and I can't wait to get some cool pictures with it on Star Wars Day so the next item that I um got for christmas is a pair of converse i um tend to wear through a lot of my shoes i'm quite heavy footed as my mum likes to always tell me so i always kind of ask for a new pair of shoes or a new style of shoes for christmas as i think that's a really good useful present to get and it's not always something that you want to buy yourself so I got some Converse Move platforms and these are kind of going to be for um, Florida again but are also going to be perfect for spring and summer. These are so comfortable. I made the mistake of actually getting these in the wrong size in a black and white version um, and it actually really hurt my foot so I made sure to get these in the correct size they're so comfy i've got them in a high top version of black and white that are going to come on holiday with me as well but they're just so comfy they're going to look really good with my park outfits with some dresses with some denim shorts and 
um, skirts and stuff but I couldn't recommend these enough I will link them in the description below if you do fancy them but they just are a little bit more elevated pardon the part not obviously being a platform but they're a bit more elevated than just like a regular converse and I can't explain how comfy they are you'll certainly be seeing a lot more people I reckon that wearing these around the parks because they're not only super like light in the weight but they just look so good and uh, they're just so comfy so I can't wait to start wearing those it's a little bit grim still it's January it's the weather's not great so I don't want to start wearing bright white converse yet but I will probably start wearing them in around February March time ready to be wearing them around the parks and doing 20,000 steps and stuff so the next item I am literally just going to pull out from this massive Disney gift bag of what this has literally been in my room since Christmas day waiting to be hauled um, on here and I'm just so glad that I can actually start using this now so I got this Lego Haunted Mansion mini set I absolutely love the Haunted Mansion um the game um not the game the movie and the ride I went on it in California and Florida and when I saw that they were doing a mini set of this I've got the mini um, 50th Disney castle as well I just knew I had to have this in my collection I'm yet to build it so I'm going to probably wait for a rainy day I might make it after this video actually so if I do I'll insert a picture of what it actually looks like but I love how you can actually see on the inside of it like you are on the ride and just the detail of it even in a small like little set is brilliant so I can't wait to use this I am a Lego adult I absolutely love Lego I've got a Mandalorian helmet I've got my little Lego castle um Disney castle so yeah that was an excellent present from my mum and my dad the next one is will come as no surprise to anyone that has watched my channel for a while I have actually done a video on my pop collection you might be able to see in the corner here um, that I've got some shelves here but Andy got me a Hamilton one I've got Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton but I don't actually have King George which is an iconic character in Hamilton it's absolutely brilliant I've seen Hamilton twice on the West End I've watched it numerous times on Disney Plus and I absolutely love it not a week goes by where I haven't listened to the full soundtrack I just absolutely love it it's brilliant I don't know what I did before I started listening to it but yes I'm absolutely obsessed with this pop figure and I can't wait to put it on my shelf I'm very quickly running out of space I've got five shelves of pop figures and I've run out of space I think after I've put that one up so that's going to be interesting to try and figure out where else to put them the next item is a t-shirt that Andy uh, there's a running joke um, with me and Andy now I went to see Top Gun Maverick um, last year it feels weird saying last year when I'm referring to 2022 and I absolutely loved it my favourite character was Rooster, no, is it Rooster? Yeah, Rooster, the one that Miles Teller plays. So Andy thought it was only appropriate to buy me a Top Gun t-shirt. This is from Truffle Shuffle, I absolutely love their stuff. And it says Maverick on the back, so yep, yeah, love this, it's super soft. It is a bit of a tighter fit than I usually would for t-shirts, but it's kind of a different style, so thank you Andy for getting me that and continuing the running joke because every time I'm going to wear that now you're just going to make fun of me but yes I love that so the next item is a calendar from one of Andy's friends that um, I'm also friends with he's a local photographer um, from where I'm from so I will link him in the description below but he is a absolutely brilliant photographer I just can't wait to have um, a new photo of his every month and I just absolutely love this so thank you so much for giving me this and they actually fell out of the calendar are some really lovely kind of postcards I absolutely love this one the bluebells um, near where we live are absolutely incredible I can't wait to go and see them again this year 
and then on the subject of a calendar i've actually forgotten to get it out of off my wall i also got if you're a disney fan you will probably know of this um artist very well i got a thomas kincaid calendar and i am obsessed i really like the long one i really struggled to find one that had like the metal hook on the um, top because i like to hang it off on a command strip so i really struggled to find one and i actually like the style of this because it, you've got quite a lot of room to write everything because i do use a calendar quite a lot to kind of like keep track of what i've got during the month and it's just nice to see the whole month like that so the first one for january is snow white and it's just so beautiful i'd love to own one of his art pieces for my bedroom or um for our house when we eventually get one oh, i just think it's so beautiful so i'm so glad i've got a really beautiful cal well two beautiful calendars for 2023 that will see me through the year okay so the next item i'm going to try and get through these a little bit quickly because i haven't filmed a video for a while so i'm feeling very chatty but i don't want this to be too long so i got a really cute christmas pudding jelly cat i collect jelly cats i don't know if you can see any in the background i've got quite a few and andy thought it would be cute to add to my christmas collection i've got a mince pie now and one of these so i just thought they were really cute and it's just a really just a tiny little one that was just a little extra present let's see what else i've got oh i've got another t-shirt this was from my brother um lucy and yak have actually opened a store in norwich which isn't too far from us and i bought some leopard print um dungarees a few weeks before christmas and i was actually looking at one of their t-shirts because I really lack a really good, decent um, white t-shirt. So he picked this up for me actually. And it just has a really tiny little Lucy and Yak um, little label there. But I just love it. It's really good quality. I got it in a 2XL because I quite like my t-shirts oversized. Because I kind of like tucking them in. And it will be perfect to put under my dungarees as well. So very good purchase from my brother. And I'm very happy with that. Um let me have a look oh the next item is from glossier they do um every year different kind of holiday sets which are normally have like exclusive items that you can't really buy um separately throughout the year and this is a little touch-up kit i ordered this um and my mum offered to buy it for me for christmas during their black friday sales they do one sale once a year where you can either get i think it was 20 or 30 percent off everything and that included the gift sets so this gift set is comes in this really cute like wintry style tin but i just thought this would be quite handy to have like um to just have in your handbag for disney or something or just every day and it has one of their lipsticks and a travel size of their perfume glossy au now i have brought probably about four or five bottles of glossy au i absolutely love it without doubt it's one of the perfumes i always get complimented on whenever i wear it i always recommend it to anyone who wants a new perfume because it's just so hard to explain without smelling it it is so good and i love the fact oh it's a i love the fact that you can get a rollable one now that you can just chuck in your handbag or take traveling with you oh it just smells so good and i love that they done like a little set i haven't actually ever tried any of their lipsticks before so i'm really excited to um try this one what shade is it in it is in cordial and i think it's one of their like really popular i don't know if this is a scent exclusive to the set or you can buy it normally but i have heard really good things about the lipsticks anyway i'm not a massive lipstick wearer i kind of really got the whole set for the rollable you because i just couldn't resist having it but i'm very chuffed with this little set highly recommend glossier if you haven't tried it before 
I am an absolute stan <laughs> for Glossier. They are a brilliant makeup and skincare brand. Really affordable, really good for your skin and everything. I think I have done a video on Glossier before, so I will link that in the description below of all of my like top products. But their perfume is definitely one that I would recommend trying. And if you can get it on a discount, normally um, they can, you can also get like 10% if a friend has referred you, so I will link in the description my little code. Um, if you've never shopped there before, you can get 10% off. But yeah, absolutely in love with that. And then on the topic of Glossier and Glossier U, I also got a bougie as hell candle from Glossier. And they actually brought out the Glossier U scent in a candle. And like, I'm sorry, but how how bougie is this for a candle? I, oh my God, I can smell it already. This is the Glossier U candle. I'm going to try and make that focus. I'm sorry, but how amazing is that? I can't even explain how good this smells. They brought out a, another candle before this, and it's in there like the one, it's kind of like a body product that they had the scent in. I can't remember, like a body hero or something, and I wasn't a massive fan of the scent. So when I saw that they brought out a candle in the Glossier U scent, I couldn't resist. I'm going to have to stop it quickly because my battery is flashing. I told you I'd been talking too much. Right, new fresh battery. We are back. Where was I? Uh, I just spoke to you about the Glossier U candle. Yes, highly recommend it. I don't know if it's still available or if it was just like a Christmas holiday um, period exclusive. But just go and check out Glossier because I just absolutely love them as a brand. So the next item I got was a quite a boring one but a practical one my um portable charger that i've had for quite a few years has kind of given up it gets super hot when i charge it now so i thought it was about time i get a new one i actually found this in tk maxx and my mum was like oh do you want it for christmas so it holds three charges for an average smartphone it's a lot lighter than my other one and a lot smaller so i can literally just chuck it in my handbag or i thought it would be perfect for florida going around the parks and everything so really um chuffed with this it's from the brand juice and i've had one of their speakers before so really recommend this brand i've actually seen this in sainsbury's as well so if you can't find it in tk maxx they were still on offer in sainsbury's so really chuffed with that and definitely a good purchase that i will most definitely get a lot of use out of so the next item is this little cute kind of travel um, jewellery case that Andy's mum got me. It just zips out like that. I really like the um, quote on it and you can tell that she really takes some thought into buying the little present. So why fit in when you were born to stand out? And it's just got this little kind of like divider for like kind of rings and earrings and you've got a little bit there. And kind of like a stretchy little bit there so i thought that'd be perfect and um, we're actually going away to york for a few days in february i'm not sure if i'm going to vlog it yet or going to kind of focus more on instagram content but either way you'll kind of see it, some content from york so i thought that'd be kind of perfect to take to york with me as well to um because i do like to switch out some of my earrings every day and some of my um necklaces so i thought that was really cute and it's one of those things that you're never really going to buy yourself but it's always handy the next item is a nars um climax mascara set i don't know why i struggled to say that and um, this was from andy i ordered this on sephora and it was such a good deal normally one of these is like 27 pounds but this set I think it was like £25, it was so good and I managed to get a, um, some discount of it as well. But this is my favourite mascara. I can't really wear a lot of the kind of like drugstore high street mascaras because I find they really wreak havoc with my eyes. I've got quite sensitive eyes. So I tried this um, back when we went to New York quite a few years ago. And I haven't stopped using it, so I thought it'd be quite a good idea to stock up on it. 
um, as it's something that is obviously quite expensive to buy yourself so why not ask for it for Christmas and talking about expensive my mum and dad supplied me with this really cute little Jo Malone cracker as a extra little present and I will just show you what is in here I love the little um Jo Malone gift sets you can get they're really good for traveling and throwing in your handbag and stuff and I actually got one of these um, last year in Braintree in their outlet store. Um, it's the kind of like the cosmetics um, store, I think. And they normally kind of reduce them. But my mum obviously very kindly got me this for Christmas. So it has three little mini products. It has peony and blush suede little cologne that is perfect for, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Is that going to focus? So this is my absolutely favourite scent of Jo Malone. It's my first scent I ever got of Jo Malone so I'm super happy to have a little one. And this is actually a little spray bottle as well so it's perfect to take on holiday with you. And they all come wrapped up in really cute little um, tissue paper. The next item is a little bath and... Uh, body and hand wash in wood sage and sea salt which is another favourite um, scent of mine that would be perfect for kind of if you are I think that's really small product though so I don't know that's probably if you're going for a night away or something I would say and then the last one is blackberry and bay body cream which is a scent that I've not actually used before but I hear is a very um, like popular cult favourite and I actually really like the scent of it so yeah that is a really cute little gift from my mum and dad as an extra little present and a very appreciated one because I absolutely love Jo Malone and I have done for quite a few years so any other few items are just little ones we didn't really go too big on Christmas presents this year because me and Andy are obviously going on holiday this year. We kind of wanted to save our money. We're hoping to go to California as a family at the end of the year. So we kind of wanted to not focus too much on buying too much for each other. But still having some like nice quality presents that we can use throughout the year. So another little gift is this July... Um, birthstone kind of key ring which I thought was cute I don't know if you're already going to be able to see that my camera is really struggling to focus today so I do apologise I got a really cute winter wonderland fragrance freeze diffuser I love having these in my room so I'm definitely going to have this out it's still winter here so I want a nice wintery scent in my room I got a gift card for Greg's it is a running joke within my family that I absolutely love Greg's so I got one of those um for £10 so I will be treating myself to a few breakfasts with that so thank you very much and as I mentioned we are going to York in um February and Andy's mum and dad very kindly got us some vouchers for Betty's Tea Room and if you've ever been to York or heard of York before you'll know that Betty's is a very popular tea room and kind of like a tourist spot I don't know if a lot of locals go there or anything but it very kindly gave us some gift vouchers to have a nice afternoon tea or breakfast there so I'm very much looking forward to that and you will see that in some capacity of when we go whether I do that as a reel or a vlog but I'm very excited to go there and then the last few items are actually food so Andy got me a massive tray of Ferrero Rocher's I absolutely love these I probably eat too many at once but it was Christmas time I'm surprised I haven't tucked into these yet but always good to have as a little snack in the evenings watching TV and then Andy's mum actually made me this really cute little gift pouch that I've actually put all of the sweets that I got um, from different people so I got a selection of Haribo sweets I've actually eaten a few of them already but I've got um, some of them left over I got some Reese's Pieces miniatures 
I am a new lover of Reese's Pieces as of last year. So you bet when I go to America this year, I'm going to be filling myself up on Reese's Pieces because what have I been doing in my whole life? I love peanut butter, I love chocolate. So why have I not thought to kind of eat these? But yes, very much looking forward to tucking into them. I'm literally going to have to throw these on the floor. I got like a retro sweet kind of package, which has kind of like jazzies, this massive um, lollipop, it had a wham bar, it had a refresher, what else did it have, a freddo, love hearts, a massive drumstick, this brings me back to my childhood, and it of course got a Cadbury's selection box, which had all of the regular chocolate that you would have at christmas time so yeah that is all of my snacks and my healthy eating gone out the window for january because i will be working my way through that for sure but yes that is everything i got for christmas i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much to everyone that very kindly gave me one of the gifts i really appreciate it i felt utterly spoiled and I can't wait to see what 2023 has in store for me, for this channel. And I hope everyone has a lovely year. And I look forward to bringing you lots of new content during the year. But thank you for watching. And I shall see you next Sunday at 6pm for a brand new video. Bye! <laughs>